King Pomera and his family, that being the queen and the princess, have been captured and sealed inside a pyramid by the evil Belzebut. Bent on taking over the world, it's up to you to save the king, and if you can, the entire royal family. Jack can run, jump, super jump by pressing up on the D-pad, float in midair by tapping the A button, dive by pressing down in midair, and open up brown treasure chests by jumping on them. He's also got another neat trick up his sleeve. By collecting mighty coins and pressing the B button uses up uh, one of them and transforms you. One coin for blue, which lets you open up orange chests. Two coins for orange, which opens up any chest by touching them. Three coins for all the powers below, and you'll change all enemies into coins, thus saving your mighty hide from danger. Rule number one, getting more than nine mighty coins sends you into a torture room. The game punishes you for being too greedy, and so you'll automatically be sent to a room where you have to dodge enemies while trying to escape. To do that, you need to jump a number of times to leave the room. Rule number two, gain too much time and you'll be sent to the torture room. Yeah, that's right, gain over 99 units of time by tipping back too many mighty drinks and you'll be sent into the sin bin again. Rule number three, save or warp. There's a total of 17 stages in this game. Upon entering the final room of each stage, it's your goal to collect all the bombs and leave via gate. Doing so will naturally move you on to the next stage. This is called a save. You can also try your luck and perform a warp in these bomb rooms. Simply collect a single bomb. Notice the lit one in this room? Save this guy for last. If you do so, you'll automatically warp to the next stage's bomb room. You can essentially make it to the end in no time flat this way. The only drawback, if you die at any time, you'll be sent back to the last point you saved at. Ouch. This is definitely a risk versus reward type of mechanic. A side effect by warping too much is the fact you'll be skipping over crucial items that will net you a better ending. Speaking of which... Rule number four, multiple endings. Yes, even way back in 1987, there existed multi-ending games. This is one of those. There are a total of two crystal balls in the game. Picking up one will allow you to rescue the queen after saving the king. Picking up two will give you access to the same royal family members as well as the princess. But wait, that's only three endings. You said there was four. Well, getting the best ending re requires you to nab both crystal balls and five secret coins. These suckers are in hard to reach places and are well hidden throughout the pyramid. Like I mentioned, there's 17 stages in this game. Here's a guide to get you well on your way in Mighty Bomb Jack. The first crystal ball can be obtained in stage seven. In the purple chamber, you'll see a double row of fireballs. The last fireball on the right hugging the wall is an illusion. Jump on it and continue to do so until you reveal a sphinx. Now find the gate and continue to the next part. You're on your way to a better ending already. The second crystal ball is located in stage 12, and you'll have to navigate a mini labyrinth to get it. To even access the labyrinth, you need to jump on an invisible block that's exactly three squares over from the lone gray block hovering above a lake of fire. Make sure you have at least two mighty coins before entering, otherwise you won't be able to clear a path in the treasure room to grab the crystal ball. Stage 17, the last level. Upon entering the green room, hop up and to the larger platform on the left. You need to find a hidden sphinx here embedded in the blocks. The second last row on the left is where you'll find it. The gate opens up and to the right. In the next room, you'll notice a long row of treasure chests. The bottom one reveals another sphinx that will lead you to the king's chamber. You're almost there. So guys, that was it. That was my beginners slash intermediate um, walkthrough of the game. Mighty Bomb Jack is a terrific game. 
really underrated, very awesome platformer that you can either speedrun by going uh, through warps, or you can really take your time and explore this game by trying to get the best endings, finding the crystal balls, gaining all the secret coins, and notice how I kind of didn't reveal the locations of those secret coins, and you can go on any like Wikipedia, Strategy Wiki, Game Facts, and you know, uh, get that information, because uh, I didn't really want to spoil uh, all of it, aka I still can't do uh, the best ending. I can't get the best ending yet. But anyways, guys, um, West Uppo, Nefarious West, this was for you. I really do hope you pick up this game and give it another go. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm super nostalgic for it, but um, even then, I think it's a really, a really deep platformer. It's got a lot of things going on, and it's really sweet and really awesome. And I hope uh, each and every one of you that's watched uh, we'll give this game a try. So I'm Will, this is the MaxiPack24 channel. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please do so. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. So let's keep going. Uh, for those about to retro, we fucking salute you. Take care.